Oh no, not another real estate prediction video. 2024 prediction video. How many have you seen? Are they all disappointing? Stay tuned. So there's a literal place you can go. If you know the future of the economy, you can go there and make a crap ton of money. It's called the stock market. If anybody knew the answer to the real estate market question of will the market rebound, will the, price, will the interest rates drop in 2024, if anybody knew the exact answer to all these questions, they'd be a, they'd be a gajillionaire. So I'm going to give you my opinion and definitely based on a little bit of fact, I read a lot of articles, I can, can kind of just make my opinion of where I think it's going. And it's going to be very unsatisfying for a lot of you. If you're watching this thinking, oh, I'm going to get the answers, I really highly doubt that anybody is 100% going to come away from this thinking, I know 100% what's going to happen. But it might be important to hear exactly uh, what I have to say. But I would say that number one is Atascadero is my main market here where our, we're based in Atascadero, California. And we had a median drop from 2022 to 2023 of six, six, roughly 6%. So 2023, uh, ending in early December, we're out at $710,000 median home price. So it's a 6% drop from the year before. Um, you know, I think that home prices are going to stabilize. They're gonna stay where they're at. They might even just increase a little bit if the interest rates drop. So we might go up another three, four, five, six percent in 2024. I think what my opinion is, just based on the feeling right now of buyers, uh, in January 2024, it's mid-January, January 14th, is that there's more buyers now in late winter, in mid-winter, than there were last this time last year. We have a uh, decrease in the interest rate since this summer, and um, buyers are starting to come out of the woodwork. You know, we've had a, a couple listings that are performing very well, and I also think that uh, it's going to stabilize through the through the rest of the winter, and then there's going to be a spike in the springtime. It's an election year. Uh, there's a lot of opinion on whether or not if the Democrats in office or Republicans in office, what's going to happen. And there's really no historical data that's completely 100% uh, accurate one way or another of who's in office and what's going to happen in the real estate market. I will tell you one thing though, in the, right now the big ticket item you hear on the news every day is there's inflation is still out of control. Um, you know, the interest rates are still high. And for a sitting president and a sitting cabinet, you know, it, it would look very good if they could somehow uh, slow inflation. Inflation never fully stops, right? But slow inflation, kind of plateau it for a while, and also uh, decrease, have the Fed decrease the um, the interest rates, you know, as best they can. I think it's it's an election year, so we might see that in order to uh, gain some voter favor, uh, maybe boost, it, make the economy feel like it's a little bit more healthier than it is. Um, so, you know, that could happen. I really think that just based on looking at the graph of the last 20 years, the up and down interest rate and how it stabilizes and, and, and rises and falls, I think, you know, we might get into like the low fives, high fours by the end of the summer. And that would be really awesome for buyers. But at the same time, the more buyers, the more demand, the higher the price on the home. So it might equal out the price of the home with the lower of the interest rate. Um, I personally think this is a great year for me because uh, I'm looking to sell a house uh, in 2024. If you watch some of my other videos, uh, uh, I'm, I'm looking to sell our house in March 2024 or early April 2024. So I'm very interested this year in the market besides my clients, but also for myself because I'm selling my primary residence. In the past few years, I've bought we've bought in a couple of rental properties, but this is a first time in a while that we're selling a primary residence. So I'm very interested in the price of my home and I'm really interested in having enough buyers to get the highest offer with the most amount of offers. Um, so I'm watching the market closely in that regard, especially in the Tascadero where my home is located. Um, also, you know, after I sell my house, what comes next? I'm looking to buy uh, a replacement house. So interest rates are very important to me as well because I'd like to have a lower interest rate than 7%. Uh, for a conventional mortgage. So I'm watching the market closely. I really think the interest rates will be coming down. But like I said, no one has a crystal ball. No one, if anybody was a, knew exactly what was gonna happen in any market, any time, any economy, there's literally a place called the stock market where they'd be making a gajillion dollars a day. Um, so if anybody says you, I have the, I have the answer, this is exactly what's gonna happen. They're kind of full of crap. So 
it's it is what it is. We all have our opinions based on facts. So let's listen to um, let's listen to everybody. I listen to a lot of people's opinions and kind of formulate my own from there. And uh, it's even funny. You watch a news article or you read you read a news article. Uh, like last year it was a Goldman Sachs article in January. Uh, this is very unscripted, so I don't have it in front of me. But they were saying one thing about the market, and literally a week later they were saying almost complete opposite about the market. So it's just talking points for news people. If you're like out there, you're a consumer, you're a buyer, you're a seller, maybe you're working with your agent, your agent's telling you, oh, it's gonna be great this spring, let's wait, or it's gonna be great this summer, uh, your interest rates will be less, um, you know, I think that no one really knows. I think that the biggest thing is, and it's the most cliche uh, thing a buyer or a seller can hear from a real estate agent, is do buy, buy and sell real estate when it's the right time for you. Not when you think the, the, the rates might be good. Because like I said before, if I sell my house, I go into escrow in April, early April, and I get a really awesome buyer, full price offer, you know, very, very headache free escrow, or even a cash deal if that would be awesome. You know, I want to make sure that like I want to have the best uh, the best setup to buy my next home. And uh, in that regard, I'm watching for the interest rates to come down as well. But I mean, I need to do what I need to do. So whether or not the interest rates come down or not, I will buy another property. If the right one comes along, we'll figure out how to make it work through using our lender and you know getting creative with uh, buy downs and and whatever we need to do to make it work. So the time is right for us to sell our house. Is it the right time for everyone to sell their house? No. Could you maybe uh, wait a year and get more money in the future in 2025? Perhaps, but who knows? I don't have a crystal ball, you know? So we're doing it because we have to do it. It's called, you know, it's, it's a life change, it's a life event. So when you need to buy or sell, you need to buy or sell. So nobody's gonna be able to give you the correct answer of when you should wait. And if I wait too long, to buy, perhaps I'm gonna have a lower interest rate and I'll be fighting a lot of other people uh, like we saw two years ago. I don't wanna be in the boat where I'm competing against 10 buyers for my next house. So I think this is a great time for me to buy right after I sell because the market is still a lower inventory and it's still relatively a buyer's market. So anyway, that's my very unsatisfying 2024 real estate predictions. Uh, let me know what you think. I really wanna see, uh, like, I really wanna see people Get what they need here in 2024. If you're a buyer that's been struggling the last uh, year and a half because of interest rates, come talk to me. I've got a, I've got a really awesome lender we can talk to and really get dialed in on what we can do in terms of buying down your rate uh, and working with uh, the sellers on the homes that you're looking to put offers in. But anyway, stay tuned. DM me with your opinion down below. Write a comment, send me a DM, like, follow, subscribe, and we look forward to the next, uh, the next video. Talk to you soon.